All right, guys, we're making an oil waste or a waste oil burner. So inside there, I just took a joint or like a female to female end like this. That's not a 90. You can see it right there. It's like a joint piece. And then I put a cap on it and then I drilled some holes on each side of it, which fresh air will blow in through. That's welded and sealed. It's waterproof. Anyway, so that's gonna go in here. And then between the two is gonna get filled with concrete. And that part there, we're gonna drill a hole at the bottom. And then this pipe goes through that hole right there. And then I have a smaller one right here. This one, I'm going to drill a hole about right there. And then going into it through here. And this is what will feed more oil into it. We'll have like a bucket with a dripper that drips into this. But yeah, I'll keep updating along the video. Alright guys, so this is pre-concrete pour. We have that bar pretty much straight. And then... There's our oil filler tube. It comes in right at the top. And it's on a slight angle so that it'll gravity feed. We're a little lower. I wanted to have this almost flush with the top, but that's all right. We'll just pour the concrete until it matches with the top of this one. And then later we'll come in with the angle grinder and cut the top off so it's all level. So basically now all we got to do is pour the concrete between the two layers. We got it pretty centered, but as centered as I'm going to bother with. But yeah, let's pour the concrete and I'll show you guys where All right, guys, we got the first batch of concrete mixed up. I kind of, I did it a bit wet, but not like, it's not enough that it's going to pour in beautifully. I'm probably still going to have to vibrate it. Try and get some light over here, guys. Where's the light at? There we go. Like it's wet, but it's not overly wet because I want it to dry quicker and I can just kind of tap on the edge to vibrate it down. But it would be a lot easier if I went wetter to get the lower spot, but it's really going to slow down the cure time. So we're going to go with this for now and see how it works. Forgot to get a clip like this, guys, to show you how it'll settle. It's definitely wet enough. You get a nice smooth top and we're getting air bubbles out, so that's good. It's wet enough to get the air out. All right. All right, guys, it's filled with concrete now. And then here's a little tip. If you got one of these, it looks like it's going so slow. It's hilarious. This works great as a concrete vibrator on little stuff like this. You can see all the bubbles coming up. But there was way more bubbles earlier. It's just I already did it before I got it on film. But that's it guys. Now I'll just show a video when it's hardened and that's be finished and then we'll go to do something with the end over there but yeah we'll add that to the video too all right guys well it's gonna take a while to dry and then once it's dry i'm gonna finish the intake tube for the the like oil drip but um we'll make that another video so that's gonna be the end of this video guys if you want to see the finished product and us testing it out uh yeah just keep your eye out for that video. It should be coming up real shortly.